corporate ladder. This isn't the ladder of success. This is the ladder of perspective because here's what I believe. I believe that better happens at the bottom of the ladder and different happens at the top of the ladder. Now, I'm not saying we don't need to be better. I'm saying better isn't enough. Better is the price that we pay to continue to have the privilege of playing in the sandbox that we call business. Now, would you agree with me that the world is changing at a tremendous speed each and every day? Yes. Right? So over here, we have the world going through transformational change. And over here, we have been growing up in a continuous improvement marketplace, a continuous improvement mindset, where we have been made to believe that if we just get a little better at doing what we've been doing for the last five or 10 years, we're going to remain market leaders. So over here, the world is innovating around us and is not even asking our permission. And over here, we're tweaking. We're getting up every morning and looking what we've always done and seeing how we can do it better, but better happens at the bottom of the ladder. And when you sit at the bottom of the ladder, you see exactly what your competitors are seeing. If you want to be different, you have to see different. And to see different, you need to get up to the top of the ladder and look out over the heads of the way things have been done so that you can see the opportunities that your competition isn't seeing. We interrupt this predictable demo video to bring you a TNN breaking news story. Welcome, my name is Denver Paris. There is no doubt that in today's highly competitive and increasingly commoditized global marketplace, businesses of all sizes and in all sectors are feeling the pinch. In the face of this growing crisis, many businesses believe that getting better will provide them with the edge they need to stand out in today's crowded marketplace. However, CNN has learned that in a world where getting better has become the big idea, one woman is waging a campaign to convince businesses that getting better isn't good enough anymore. Better is what our customers expect from us. They expect us to be getting better each and every day. So when the best are competing with the best, how do you differentiate yourself in the marketplace? You don't do it just by being better. You do it by being different. Now at this point, we don't know much about the woman, but TNN has discovered that she and her ladder travel the world working with leaders who want to quote, turn inspiration into innovation and ideas into results. There are all kinds of business models in this room, but the bottom line is you all have competition. And the question is, if I were to come back to this room five years from now, how many of you would still be in business? And how many of you would still be in the business in the way that you want to be in business because things are changing every day? As this story continues to unfold, I am joined now by our lead investigative reporter, Monica Kay, coming to us from Montreal, Canada. Monica, have you been able to discover anything more about the lady and her ladder? Denver, here's what we know so far. The woman in question is Tony Newman. She's a five-time award-winning business owner, a member of the Speaking Hall of Fame, and the founder of the Innovation Advantage. Her company helps organizations around the world to gain and sustain competitive advantage in today's crowded marketplace. Do we know any more about how exactly Ms. Newman accomplishes that objective? Denver, it appears that Ms. Newman teaches organizations how to design innovative, customer experiences, what she calls unexpected encounters. And it's these unexpected encounters that differentiate organizations from their competition and significantly increase the number of customers they do business with. In fact, best-selling author Vince Pacente said, she has the best methodology for standing out in a crowded marketplace since marketing guru Seth Godin. Seth Godin says, in a crowded marketplace, fitting in is failing. In a busy marketplace, not standing out is the same as being invisible. Well, here's the challenge with better, is better doesn't help you stand out. We have to dare to be different. Because here's what I know, if you can't get noticed, you can't get heard. And if you can't get heard, you can't get the job done. Well, Monica, do we know how the business community is reacting to Newman's claim that better isn't good enough anymore? Denver, there's no doubt that business leaders across all markets are not only finding the message relevant, but are embracing it fully. She's been a catalyst for us to drive growth within the company, but she's also been a catalyst to drive growth within several companies. In fact, uh, Tony's responsibility and her craft is really to drive innovation and be an innovation catalyst into organizations like ours. 
What we're saying today is that we want to get to be world-class in innovation. So we thought a perfect way to be able to facilitate that was to bring a world-class innovator to help us get there. Monica, the story is becoming clearer every minute here as it unfolds. Have you been able to learn anything more about how daring to be different can help companies stand out in today's marketplace? Denver, there are many experts linking continuous improvement with sustainable competitive advantage. However, Ms. Newman believes that innovation or daring to be different is the critical element that companies need to consistently drive more customers, more revenue and more growth. But for ARM to stay in business, for ARM to continue to supply 90% of the smartphones in the world, they need to create new code all the time. They need to create new value-based change that resets expectations, just like Mike was talking about. When was the last time that you created new code? Monica, is there anything else that you've been able to learn that would help organizations dare to be different? Ms. Newman cautions that being different for the sake of being different is irrelevant. We're talking about being strategically innovative in a way that drives value for your customers so that they buy more homes and you can grow your business. I am fanatical about strategic. Being different for the sake of being different is irrelevant. Steve, last night you talked about strategic continuity. All of these touch points need to have a strategic continuity. We need to know why this particular touchpoint experience was designed at this particular moment. What do we want to accomplish and how are we going to measure that? Monica, <laughs> um, several mysteries are still surrounding Ms. Newman, including a reference to someone named Stefan. Does that name mean anything to you? As far as we can tell, Denver, Stefan was a French waiter who seems to have made quite an impression on Ms. Newman. Oh my God, this was no longer about cheese. Now I have to ask you, when waiters and waitresses all over the world go into their shifts, what do they want in their pockets before they go home and yell it out? Tips. Do you think I left Stefan a good tip? But here's the question, did I leave Stefan a good tip because he was a better waiter or because he was a different waiter? Different. Value-based change that resets expectations, think, Stefan. <laughs> you see, Stefan reset my expectations for the Parmesan cheese moment in my pasta eating journey. He reset expectations for the Parmesan cheese moment in my pasta eating journey. Stefan owns the Parmesan cheese moment. In fact, Ms. Newman believes that the most important question that any brand should be asking themselves is, what moments do you own? in the customer journey. What moments does your business own in the customer journey? But here's the coolest thing about it. Deliveries went up 500%. They had 12,000 mentions on social media because people don't talk about better, they talk about different. So if any of you sitting in this audience are thinking, I'm just a small company, I don't have a whole lot of budget. When we work with smaller organizations, we say, stake your claim. Stake your claim on one moment. Monica, this all sounds very impressive, but are Ms. Newman's clients really getting results? Does daring to be different actually even pay off? It certainly does, Denver, and Ms. Newman's clients have the results to prove it. For example, after implementing Ms. Newman's approach, one business owner said, the 5S solution has driven our revenue to exceed projections by 27.9%. Our pipeline has 39% more money in it, and the projects in the pipeline are closing at a higher rate. She went on to say, you would be crazy not to spend some time with Tony. It paid for itself in the first week. In another instance, a lead business advisor for a regional economic development council proclaimed, we have had sessions with the Disney Institute and Fish in the past. However, the day we had with Tony Newman, was by far our most successful business event to date. Monica, do you have any other insights into how Ms. Newman is able to accomplish such incredible results? I've been able to determine that Ms. Newman spends a great deal of time learning about her clients' industries prior to working with them. That way she can tailor her process to her clients' actual business objectives. Monica, 
I have just been advised that TNN has discovered some exclusive footage that demonstrates Ms. Newman's dedication to preparation. I think it was last night that was talking about the upcoming business and all of the opportunities that are there in a room just like this one. Any of your other competitors are sitting and they're having their same meeting. Your business, the business is changing. I interviewed a few people about your industry. I think from from it was which is why every year or two puts out another another new way of doing things. Monica, have you actually had the opportunity to speak with Ms. Newman about her work? Not yet, Denver. I've been trying to catch up with Ms. Newman for several weeks now. We do know that she was here in Mexico recently, where she was interviewed by the prestigious Bloomberg TV. We followed up on a tip that she had been spotted, but it turned out not to be her. Ya están acordando. Mi intención es que, que recordemos puntos fundamentales. Ponchi Newman, Ponchi Newman. Thank you for your report, Monica. Thank you, Denver. And so, in a highly competitive global marketplace where gaining and sustaining competitive advantage is becoming more difficult with each and every passing day, one woman is on a crusade to remind all of us that getting better isn't good enough anymore and that daring to be different is no longer a matter of choice, but a matter of survival. I leave you with the words of one of North America's great sales experts, Tom Stoyan. Do yourself, your company, and your clients a favor. Hire Tony before your competition does. This has been Denver Paris for TNN News. We now return you to your regular programming. <laughs>